Longevity Plus would like to thank you for joining our webinar today. Dr. Gary Gordon is an expert on nutrition, mineral metabolism, and anti-aging. He's a consultant to Longevity Plus, where he's responsible for designing effective, natural supplements that help to support optimal health. Today, Dr. Gordon will be joined by Dr. Dean Bonley of Magnetico to discuss the science validating magnetic therapy. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Gary Gordon. Welcome back to another in our continuing series of webinars on energy. As you will learn today, there's some major things going on that you could not be aware of until today, and these are going to teach you that we know that in America today, our health care costs are so high that Andrew Wilde's new book is simply entitled, You Can't Afford to Get Sick. And yet, you've all heard me talk about my fight program, food, infection, genetics, heavy metal, hormone toxins. It gets to be a little overwhelming when you have to fight for your health on so many fronts. But we happen to be on Earth at a time of Earth changes, and NASA has a graphic telling you that the Earth's magnetic field is collapsing, and my guest that will be on after my initial presentation, Dr. Dean Bondley, actually told me about these changes before NASA even woke up to what is happening. So we won't belabor the fact that we're having to renumber the runways in Tampa because the North Pole is moving. And it turns out that every 780,000 years, we seem to see that the North Pole can become South Pole, and that's when Australia can break off from Europe. So interesting things happen, and we seem to be in a time when things are happening because we see birds falling by the thousands out of the sky, and everybody's scratching for their head trying to find out why. If you pay attention to my concept, because at age 76, I feel fantastic, and I want everyone else to feel that good, you'll have a, a, a handle on the idea that with your immune system supported properly, we won't get cancers, we won't succumb to these infections that are absolutely on the horizon, because we all have some of these infections, whether you talk about candida or you talk about chlamydia or you talk about cytomegalic virus, we all have infections on our immune system doesn't work optimally when we take away the Earth's electromagnetic field. So Dr. Sinatra is trying to help doctors put physics back in physicians because with knowledge doubling in any field every two years, I can't find you one doctor out of a thousand that's going to be aware that sitting in my hand is a compilation of 30 years of research out of Eastern Europe where there isn't a health condition that you can have that wouldn't have been favorably influenced whether you used a magnet of some kind. Now the problem is you're going to be, is it enough to put it in your insoles so maybe you walk a little further with your diabetic neuropathy or is it enough to have it as a bracelet or do you just want to have an emergency magnet in the house which I encourage the size of a small book or even the size of a fat quarter so you've got something to do with magnets because they're very useful. And as we're talking with a new book by Dr. Sinatra, he's trying to make you aware that it would be good to be out in the grass and wet feet and grounding ourselves. And I have talked about PEMF in a, in a conference webinar four weeks ago, and next week we will be having new research about its use in things like ALS and MS that will be extremely exciting to you. So we won't belabor the point that PEMF works on so many levels, and that will be different than what Dr. Barnley is offering us, which has kept me extraordinarily healthy for at least the 10 years or so longer that I've had the privilege of knowing Dr. Dean Barnley, president of Magnetico, who has helped my sleep pattern dramatically. And some of you may remember I did a webinar recently about how important sleep can be, and that even though my sleep is greatly improved because of Dr. Bonley's sleep pad, which gives me 20 gauss, which kind of puts me a little bit back in the running 
as you will see, we're down to 0.3 for much of the planet today. So with the static magnetic pad that I have that gives me eight hours, if I'm lucky enough to get eight hours in the, in the bed of treatment, and I could never use PEMF as much as I love it and the dramatic things I'm doing with it, because I can't be hooked up to it for eight hours. It would be an overdose, and it wouldn't be the exact replacement of what the Earth gave me. On the other hand, I did a PEMF treatment for my horse on Sunday, and immediately my horse went beautifully right up into the winning circle at the what we call the high performance jumping of of the of competition going on in Tucson. So I know PMF is real, and it works to help mend our bones. And everybody needs their bones stronger. And when I listen to the doctor radio, which I encourage any of you who have access to go online and put in doctor radio and see if you wouldn't spend a few dollars a month to listen to Sirius Satellite Radio to hear how sick your fellow citizen in this country is because you get to call in free of charge and have a consultation with NYU Medical Center, head of every department, whether it's pediatric or psychology or, or it's dermatology or cancer, but you'd be amazed how ill our country is and people have been sucked in because it isn't an even playing field. It seems like it's free to have the surgery or the chemo or the radiation. It's not. You always are paying the 20%, so people are still filing bankruptcy, but by the time they go through the stupid treatments, that are being given by mainstream medicine that do not address any causes, they always are lying and they're just attacking symptoms. When they tell you they're sure the surgeon got all the cancer, he's lying because the new test will show that it's usually in the bloodstream even if they swear it was just in your prostate or just in your breast. So we've got to move forward because our country is being told today that we can't compete internationally with the ridiculous health care costs we're experiencing, and it would be one thing if it was working, but it's not. AMA admits that the fourth leading cause of death is the drugs your doctor prescribed, and those of us who've looked at their data feel that the truth is that drugs prescribed by doctors to mask your symptoms instead of treating the causes you're going to learn more about here today are the leading cause of death. So yes, this is the device that I took down to treat my horse, the same device I used to bring, give me a brand new back, and it's the same device that I would have get the same results with this unit versus the one that's in the doctor's office. But if you spend $60,000, then you can get one that's just a little different configuration that is more designed primarily to treat just the head. Now that means that I can't treat your bad back or your bad ankle or your bad foot or bring your liver back. I can only treat your head, but it's exciting to know that it is somewhat insurance reimbursed with some insurances for 12000 but we have to treat people about six, eight, ten weeks. And why is it working? It is working for depression that hasn't responded to any other treatment. Now how do we think depression responds? We think it responds when we turn on stem cell, or at least provably enhance differentiation of stem cells. So this is important research for you to be aware of, that the research is out there. And of course, you all know from Dr. Gordon on my website, gordonresearch.com, you can put in a word cancer, and you can find we've had 10 thousand patients, 10 years, nobody died of cancer by simply doing cancer screening tests and keeping you healthy. But we always do need supplements and we always need my fight program. So if you're going to feel as good as I do at age 76, it's going to be useful if you learn that, yeah, I've got a power drink and the power drink is going to help detox. And as you will see, if you're on Dr. Bondley's magnetical sleep pad, you are detoxing better, and I am convinced also that we're always increasing ATP levels. ATP is the, is the currency of energy of the cell, and when you raise that, which we have proof we can do with magnetic therapy, that means cells can so satisfy and solve problems. What are the problems we're tasked to solve? 
It has to get rid of the toxins that you can't live on Earth today without it having lead, mercury, cadmium, and dioxins, and PCBs, and polybrominated diphenyl ethers. That's the flame retardant. Everyone needs the currency of energy, ATP, and sleeping on the magnetic pad absolutely does that. Now, we do know that stem cell therapy is what people who don't want to treat causes they have they'll write out a check for fifty thousand they'll fly to china they don't want to deal with causes change your diet and exercise and think positively and get the toxins out and buy vitamin c every day no that's too much effort let me write out a check for fifty thousand you stick these stem cells in me well my point is very simple that's nonsense because we have tons of people who must get methylcobalamin and methyl forms of folic acid because of an epigenetic change that has occurred to a huge percentage of our population because we drank water out of these plastic bottles and we got phthalates 10,000 times higher in our bodies and we have things called bisphenol A that causes us not to be able to actually handle the methylation so we often take methyl B12 which I prefer that you get beyond B12 sublingually and we have acetyl methionine we have many things that we can do to help everybody but the exciting news is this I don't care if you just want to stop aging or you want to avoid Alzheimer's or you want to be sure you don't die of a heart attack or you want to be sure that you're not dying too young and slow your aging process or deal with an autoimmune disease my fight program combining with magnetic pad will do miracles but Dr. Barnley wasn't happy with just the pad he wanted to prove you could do much more magic so he developed a 10 ton and in this big device we have seven miles of copper wire weighing 10 tons but we put this in some of my doctor friends offices and when you put the person underneath this the person is getting 3,000 gauss now at the time of the dinosaurs we probably had about 30 gauss today you will find it's shocking what is happening how low we are and how many people would love to be fifty dollars an hour maybe two hundred dollars ten thousand dollars but we have saved people who otherwise would have had a heart transplant or have come back and now drive their car instead of being in an old folks home so we like MME and Dr. Bonley is the brains behind this and so he's the one that is really been in the vanguard of understanding the power of magnetism as it relates to every disease whether you want to talk about brain injury multiple sclerosis Parkinson's cerebral palsy congestive heart we don't care what you talk about it's going to help you repair the bone and we have clear-cut evidence that even the pets like to be on these pads and children will be more able to deal with this toxic planet that we find ourselves in for many, many reasons. So the Magnetico Sleep Pad is really Dr. Bonley's contribution because you see other companies that didn't have the same motivation that he does to help his fellow man have looked at selling these magnet pads as a way of making money. Well, that's fine. Everybody needs to make money. But if it does harm, I don't like it. And there are pads out there that you buy, and within a month, you will start to be much more tired. You'll be hardly able to get out of bed, and you'll throw that pad out no matter what you paid for because they were too cheap to do it right. Dr. Bonley only likes to do it right. And as you will see, Dr. Bonley is the inventor, and we'll have him on in a few more minutes because I am pleased to know this man. As a practicing dentist, he wasn't satisfied with just being a dentist. He had to become a businessman and find out a way to make a excellent, high-quality pad that would change people's lives and then have to go out and tell people about it. But over the last 165 years, the decline in our magnetic earth field has decreased 90%. I want you to understand Dr. Barnley is one of the few people that has figured out if we decrease it by 98 to 99%, you won't be able to get up off the floor because your metabolism will stop. You will not be able to convert any of the nutrients into energy. So the benefits that we have when we have the correctly designed sleep pad, and in order to be correct, I assure you folks, it's going to be heavy because there's no cheating. It has to weigh almost 100 pounds for one pad to give you 10 gauss. And if you do, as I found after I've been on my 10 gauss for a year or two, I was so much better on my sleep. I was having much better 
functioning of my kidney. I have an injured kidney, and I was getting all these benefits, including less aging. So at 76, I don't feel different than 56. And across the board, these are things that we know that my doctor friends who have bought one of these from Dr. Bonley and have slept on it will never give it up. They'll never return it. And he has a money back basis that anybody can experience it for a month and just have to pay a restocking fee. But whether you're worried about PMS or allergy or insomnia or FSA or high blood pressure or lack of energy, whatever you're worried about, you see improvements because this restores the actual ATP, that's the energy inside of every cell in your body. So this is not just for adults. If you could afford it, you would have this under every single loved one in your family, would be between the top and the bottom mattress. And of course, some people are only attached to their pet and their pet would live longer because our dogs are all developing cancer and dying far too young. So magnetism in your body, what we now know is that it is required for us to survive. Now, you can get some magnetism when your brain is operating, but that's not much compared to what the Earth provided you. And the Earth's being stingy, and it's shut down over 90%, and it looks like it's on a little tirade right now, and it might cut it down even to 95%. We don't know how low it's going to go. We're going through some changes right now, which Dr. Bond is going to help you understand. But during sleep, the magnetic field and your brain are working together to bring back resonance. So why do we need to supplement the natural occurring? Well, it's real clear. It's not just 70 or 80. It's now over 90% drop in the magnetic field. And I repeat, when it goes down too low, that stops the entire required metabolism, and you simply cannot get off the floor. So the magnetical sleep is a patented approach, and it is using this whole idea of helping the brain function better. Because you know we live in an information-intense society, and if you can't remember when you walk in the kitchen what you're there for, then you need to start looking at how to use my fight program and combine it with magnetic support. And we have these things that are clearly adversely affecting the magnetic resonance that is required for health. And so we can turn it up with PEMF, and it's a different application that I will use for shorter term for people who have more symptomatic. Everyone across the board needs to understand the reason to have a magnet under our body to support healthy metabolism. And it gets a little bit into electrons and protons, and it's a little bit into quantum mechanics and quantum physics, but it's all absolutely validated by thousands of studies around the whole globe. People are learning this. A lot of the studies were quite ahead of us in Eastern Europe, out of Czechoslovakia, Russia, etc. But if to understand then that what you want is there's a bipolar theory, and people have it wrong. They think if they put the negative side of a magnet that they're only going to get the negative side. That's not possible because the magnet always goes, it is negative on that side, but it always switches around and on the edge of the Hello. Gary, can you understand me now? Hello, I'm Dr. Dean Bonley, and we're going to talk today about what's happening to the Earth magnetic field and what consequences that's going to have on your health and actually your income in your life. Now, we are at a very critical time in our history. We're getting to a time in history where the Earth magnetic flares, the flares from the sun uh, pummeling the Earth is at its maximum next year, It's starting in the fall. And we're going to talk about that today and what effects this is going to have here on our Earth. So with that, we'll go ahead.
Now, uh, what the scientists are saying right now is that NASA said in September 2005 we would have a complete reversal of our magnetic field within 800 years. Indeed, it's already happening at a much more rapid rate than they ever had anticipated. The whole South Atlantic now has reversed during the daytime. And that belt of magnetism that comes out of the South Atlantic is the belt that goes into the North Atlantic. So now we have a a hole, you might say, in our magnetosphere in the North and South Atlantic. And we're going to talk about what that does and show you some pictures of that. NASA said in December 16, 2008, announced that the Themis spacecraft have discovered a breach in the Earth's magnetic field 10 times larger than anything previous, previously thought to exist. NASA's Themis mission comprises of five probes launched in February 2007 to measure the Earth's magnetic field. According to Wen Hai Lai, a University of New Hampshire space physicist analyzing the NASA Themis mission, the opening was huge, four times wider than the Earth itself. Jimmy Rader, another University of New Hampshire scientist, analyzed the Themis project data said, we've seen things like this before, but never on such a large scale. The, en the entire day side of the magnetosphere was open to the solar wind. The breach is allowing up to 20 times the normal amount of solar particles to enter the Earth's atmosphere, according to the NASA announcement. What are these solar particles? They are actually space dust. They're electrons, protons, and gamma radiation. That's the scary part of it. So let's go on to see what's going to happen as a result of this. The breach of the magnetosphere was not causing any great concern for the moment since solar activity is at a minimum. And we're in a lull right now. But we're going to learn it's already getting ready to start up. In fact, the last time the sun was so inactive was in 1913. The lack of solar activity has even caused some scientists to speculate that we are about to enter into a mini ice age. Most NASA scientists, however, agree that by 2012, when the sun moves into the solar maximum, the current situation will change dramatically. In 2006, a team of solar scientists led by Dr. Uh, Dupaki of the National Center for Atmospheric Research predicted that the next sunspot cycle, which is number 24, will be 30 to 50 times stronger than any previous solar, uh, solar flares we've had or solar cycle we've had. The sun's heightened sunspot activity will lead to coronal mass ejections filled with solar particles of plasma that will dramatically spread out through the solar wind. The increased quantities of plasma will be carried to the Earth in giant solar waves passing through the breach in the magnetosphere. This, this breach in the magnetosphere, by the way, is caused from the reversal of the Earth magnetic field or the dying out of the Earth magnetic field. So there is not a magnetosphere to protect us from the sun's electromagnetic field. This is how one NASA scientist explained the situation. We're entering solar cycle 24. For reasons not fully understood, CMEs in even numbered solar cycles like 24 tend to hit the Earth with a leading edge that is magnetized north. Such a CME should open a breach and load the magnetosphere with plasma just before the storm gets underway. It's the perfect sequence for a really big event. This has already happened. In 2006, we had a negative uh, solar flare, and it sucked out a good part of our magnetosphere and in turn pulled in all of these all the cosmic radiation that we just got on talking about, the CMEs. The big event alluded to by NASA, FEMA's scientist, is major disruption to satellites, telecommunication systems, and the electrical power grid. What the scientists didn't discuss is the impact on human bioelectrical systems. By 2012, individuals will need to learn to be solar 
surf riders to survive the dramatic waves of plasma pouring in through the Earth's magnetosphere at an astonishing rate. So that's all quotes from NASA, folks. So they see what's coming. This uh, sounds all scary, doesn't it? Well, let's see what some other scientists are saying. The opening was huge. Four, this is NASA again. The opening was huge, four times wider than the Earth itself, says Wen Hu Lai, a space physicist at the University of New Hampshire who has been analyzing the data. Lai's colleague, Jimmy Rader, also of New Hampshire, says, 10 to the 27th power particles per second were flowing into the magnetosphere. And that's at, if you want to figure that out, that's 10 times uh, 0 to the 27. In other words, with 27 zeros behind it, 10 with 27 zeros behind it. This kind of influx is in the order of a magnitude greater than we thought was even possible. That's a quote from, from the our space scientists. So now we're loading up our atmosphere with all this gamma radiation and, and high energy electrons and protons. Here's a picture of what it looked like before and after. The picture on your left shows what our magnetosphere was doing. The, the black line is our magnetosphere. That's the where it's the most dense, and that's the one that buffers the the cosmic radiation. This is what it was before 2006. Here, after the second picture is what it looked like after. As you can see, there's red behind the black line. Now, the red stands for cosmic radiation, so we have a whole belt now underneath our magnetosphere, in between the magnetosphere and what's left of our, our magnetosphere underneath that that's protecting the Earth. And if that were to collapse down to the Earth, well, it would we'd all be history. But uh, we have a definite weakening, and this is why I'm bringing this up to your attention now, because when we have our major solar flare, that was just a little solar flare we had in 06. When we have the major ones in 2012, we're going to have, shall we say, a giant breach in our magnetosphere, and we'll be getting solar radiation. Last week, a report from Russia's Ministry for Extraordinary Situations uh, warned that the weakening Earth magnetic sphere was allowing poisonous space clouds to enter deep into the Earth's atmosphere where it is coming in contact with birds. These clouds make noctilucent clouds. Anyhow, they they're filled with space dust and from the micrometers and micro, pardon me, micrometeors. And what really is interesting here is that these noctilucent clouds exhibit very high radar e reflectivity. Matter of fact, this means that these clouds create a very large radar signature on weather tracking systems. We're having some uh, web problems here, so you're not getting the picture through. But what happened as a result of this, the birds started falling out of the sky here after Christmas. We've had thousands and thousands of birds fall to the ground. Uh, and the only thing that they can figure out is causing that is hydrogen cyanide, because these clouds apparently are full of hydrogen cyanide which is a result of the cosmic radiation interacting with our, our atmosphere. Now, this is fortunately high enough above us so that we're not being affected by this on the ground, the hydrogen cyanide, but it's terribly poisonous. And you'll dry, die in two or three minutes with that kind of um, breathing hydrogen cyanide. Now, what... Uh, 
why isn't the clouds right down to the ground and affecting us? Well, we still have a magnetic field that is close to us here on the Earth, and it is strong enough to keep those clouds above us. But how long will that last? I sound like a prophet of doom, don't I? But this is uh, give you a little idea of the things that are about to happen. We're going to continue on here, uh, but try and get this web back up and give you some more pictures. Okay, we back up again. These not to loosen clouds, uh, as we just talked about, uh, how the birds came falling out of the air and what it did. And also, uh, there was enough uh, fallout from this, so it killed a lot of fish, too. Now, uh, we'll move on. Let's show, uh, what we want to talk about next here is the hole in the magnetosphere. This is a picture taken by NASA recently, and, well, 2006. As you can see, the blue area here is all area with weak magnetic field. As a matter of fact, in, in, right down in, in the Antarctic there, it's actually reversed during the day because it's so weak. Now. We're going to show you a picture of what that has done to the ozone layer. Here's the ozone layer in the same area in the South Atlantic. There's a huge hole in it. And I, and I say a hole, that means there's no ozone there. Now, when you don't have ozone, you have no protection from UV light. And guess what? No protection from UV light means this. This giant hole in the ozone layer allows cosmic radiation, including UV light, to strike the Earth. As a matter of fact, in December 2006, the British Antarctic Survey Bulletin recorded when the ozone hole became elliptical, the edge of the zone hole the passes over the tip of the South America and South Georgia, which is the island down by the tip of South America. UV levels reach similar values to that seen at midday in the tropics. In other words, this, uh, this is phenomenal because this would be like four times the amount of UV light hitting that area than what would be normal. So you wonder why we have global warming? It's simply because we have the heat of the equator being on the ice pack in the South Atlantic. Now, as we talked about earlier, the magnetic field that comes out of the Earth in the South Atlantic is the belt of magnetic field that comes up and goes into the Earth in the North Atlantic. So we don't have protection in the North Atlantic either. And so we have huge holes in the ozone layer in the North Atlantic as well as the South Atlantic. To validate this, the last summer they had an announcement in June that the seals were getting sunburned for the first time in history in the North Atlantic because of the intense UV light. So we're in for 
a lot more UV light, and guess what this is going to do to us? We're going to get what? So what do we do about this coming catastrophe, which is going to mean much higher temperatures and global warming? We need to be taking siestas during the middle of the day when the radiation is at the strongest and sleep on a magnetic pad, which makes it its own magnetosphere to protect you from the cosmic radiations. The scientists estimate that people out during the middle of the day will be much more susceptible to cancer, heat stroke, and genetic damage from gamma radiation. Now this is kind of scary stuff because if you think about it, we're going to have to change your whole lifestyle. Everybody will be taking a siesta. Maybe that's a good thing. But they'll all be needing their own little magnetic cocoon to keep them from having genetic defects as a result of the high gamma radiation. This is like getting x-rays all the time while you're outside when you're when the sun's overhead. You'll be uh, like you're getting x-rayed. And we all know that uh, too much x-rays uh, causes genetic damage. So we need to be thinking in terms of getting a our own little cocoon of magnetic field. Now, you can prevent the gamma radiation by putting lead, uh, having a lead roof or uh, making your home uh, covered with lead to keep out the gamma radiation, or you can have a magnetic pad where you can take and uh, sleep on it and take a siesta during the day when the gamma radi radiation is at its height. On Valentine's Day, we had our first sun flare, which knocked out communications in China for a day. It took two days for that radiation to get here from the sun, but on the 17th or 16th, actually, uh, we had a loss of telecommunications throughout China. And this was just a little sun flare. It gives you a little taste of what's going to come in the future. We're going to have giant knockout of electrical uh, grids. Because uh, when you have sun flares with that much energy hitting uh, our wires and our electrical grids, uh, the voltage will be so great it'll blow up the transformers and knock out the electrical grids. So we can expect a lot of power outages. We can expect a lot of satellites going out of commission. Uh, and we can expect a lot of bad health because uh, of the radiation. Now, what do we do about all of this? I've told you how you can prevent it by having your own little magnetosphere. But there's other things you can do, too. Eating good food, keeping your health up, getting enough rest, all of these things so that your immune system is able to handle these uh, these defects in your genes because the gamma radiation is going to cause a lot of defects. It's like getting radiated after for cancer. And the healthy people survive and the unhealthy people don't. So get your health up, uh, getting lots of rest, sleeping on a magnetic pad. And we know now that we actually repair genetic defects with our magnetic field. We actually have good scientific research that shows that. So uh, you can't afford not to be in a proper magnetic field. When I say a proper magnetic field, it has to be a field that is not bipolar. The return field has to be outside of the bed. You have to have a unidirectional field coming through your body that only enhances the earth magnetic field. And I suggest you, you enhance it by at least 20 to 40 times for to get the optimum amount of benefit from that. And this is... Uh, uh, accomplished with our magnetic pad that we've made. We've taken that same uh, theories behind the magnetic pad and duplicated it uh, in the MME, which is a very powerful 10,000 pound electromagnetic bed. And we find that we can actually repair genetic defects that people have never been able to do before. And these are long-term hereditary genetic defects. So uh, magnetism, 
is one of the major answers to maintaining your health over the next few years. And by the way, the sun flares are going to start in the fall, uh, be intense during uh, 2012, and then slowly get less for the next 11 years, and we go back to normal cycles after that. But the Earth will be very hot for the next 11 years starting this fall. With that uh, bad news, I will sign off for today and give you back to Gary Gordon, who I know has been sleeping on the magnetic pad for 15 years. And that's why he still uh, talks with two microphones and carries on two conversations at the same time. Well, that was as he said, a bit of a doomsday scenario, but I, of course, am used to scaring everybody when I tell them that every time you take a, another breath of air, you're getting lead and mercury. So we will only respond to those, those adverse health challenges that we understand. And of course, because I go to so many meetings, I tend to understand the lead and the mercury as well as the dioxin and the PCB and all of the epigenetic changes that have occurred because of phthalates and the, and the toxins. So for me, it is a fight to stay healthy, but I'm quite excited about the fact that at age 76, all of my faculties are working and I can do more now than I could 20 years ago because of these additional modalities and we don't know at all whether things are going to be 10,000 years off before the next major earth change and this may just be an 11 year period that we have to go through and it's going to have everyone confused because when you're cold as we are now across the whole planet you think that hey that warming is just all this Al Gore's bad dream no, it isn't just a bad dream, but it's so hard to factor in all of the things like sunspot activity. When sunspot activity is low, it's conceivable that we will have a period of time that could be a mini ice age, and that might last one month or it might last two years. No one knows. And so that's why I like to work on the concept that while we're here on this earth doing whatever we were meant to do, it's my job to try to help everybody live to their maximum intended useful lifespan, enjoying infinite health and wellness. And in order to do that, I have to come back all the time to my concept, everything is multifactorial. Everything is food, infection, genetics, heavy metals, hormones, toxins, and now we have to plug in earth changes into our consciousness. But those of us that are able to deal with a multifactorial challenge to our health will see results. I make fun of people who run off and spend 10, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars trying to do stem cells to help impossible conditions because I always use the example when I had the child that was actually in the children's hospital in St. Louis and they were insisting that the child needed an emergency heart transplant. I simply asked the doctors at that hospital, had you measured carnitine? No, they hadn't. Had you measured magnesium? No. Had you measured coenzyme Q? No. So. I simply made a decision that it was more logical based on my professional opinion, which was buttressed by the fact that I got an old x-ray on that child and saw that the heart had been enlarged on the child seven, several months before the event at 18 months of age that caused the child to be blue, in the hospital, hardly able to breathe with, its, with a major problem. And so what I'm trying to do is have everybody understand that if we can go through this big picture that we have things that allow us to restore health to us today that no matter what the challenges are these things that bring us back to functioning 
allow us to help solve the problems and when we have knowledge to have some idea where these problems and these challenges are coming from, we will find answers. Just as I point out that the weakening of the genetic magnetic field means the immune system is not operating optimally on everyone. And I've explained to you that our fellow physicians aren't going to be willing to learn what you've heard about today. But this presentation will go up as all of the webinars that we do are always put up on GordonResearch.com and can be played again. And even though we had some technical difficulties, so for a little while, you might not have had a slide to look at. Nonetheless, you had Dr. Bondley, who I repeat, was the one that told me long before NASA even woke up to the fact that there was a collapse in the Earth's electromagnetic field. So because he's been the head of the North American Magnetic Research Association, he's been really studying these things for a long time. And government finally woke up. And I'm glad that he's not the only one out there now seeing these challenges that we face. And it's exciting to know that we all can keep fighting back. And the PEMF, which we will present for you next week, when I'm going to have as guests on the show, both a Dr. Alan Unruh, a chiropractor who's been practicing for over 40 years, who's got some very, very practical information that he's going to share with us next week, as well as Sue Massey, a naturopathic physician in New Jersey who has dramatically recovered her own health in a story you'll want to hear and is now treating very complicated conditions like ALS and seeing people actually get results when nothing else has worked. Remember, that's what I talk about if you go to my webinars on, remember, whether you go to FIGHT, there's always a webinar on food and a webinar on infection, one on genetics, one on heavy metal. So in the heavy metal one, I have a really great story of a young man who spent 20 years under the mainstream medicine available in New York, very expensive doctors, did everything known for his MS, and he still wound up at the end of 20 years totally incapacitated in a wheelchair, and they said they threw in the towel. They had nothing more to offer him. So at that point, desperate, he then thought outside the box, and he saw one of the doctors that's involved in my fact. Remember, the Forum on Anti-Aging and Chelation Therapy has over 3,000 health professional members who I send three emails to each day so that if you have a doctor or a health professional in any field, have them go to gordonresearch.com and join FACT because that way they will have a password and they can search on autism or breast cancer or prostate cancer or ALS or MS and they can see what I and other leading alternative integrative practitioners from around the whole earth are doing. So by simply letting other people know that I have a free school of advanced medicine, you can learn how to apply, not just PEMF for bone mending and how the cell starts to come back, but the pulse makes those little microcurrents and many things happen. So people's pain is reduced. And if they have less pain, they will get off the pain meds, which are preventing anybody from recovering. And when they have that going on, we can then move into other very beneficial things, such as how to lose every part of my fight program. And remember, everything I always talk about is, is multifactorial. So these machines will be in the doctor's offices, and you can come in once a week or once a month and kind of fill up your battery. It's kind of... We seem to have lost Dr. Gordon. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and thank everybody for joining us. Uh, did you want to add something to his last thought there? I wanted to add this, uh, simply this, that you know, we have another uh, presentation on detoxification. Uh, we call it Magno 
detoxification. It's better than any known method of detoxing the body, and especially the brain known to man today. And it's a whole other presentation on that that we should uh, let the people know about. Yes, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Dr. Bonley. I also wanted to remind people that uh, Dr. Gordon does have the energy workshops coming up at the Point Hilton in Tempe, Arizona on the weekend of March 4th. Uh, there's further details on Dr. Gordon's website, www.gordonresearch.com. Uh, this webinar will be posted on that website as well in, sometime within the next 48 hours. Um, okay, I, we'll, uh, Mary, on that, uh, I'll be there lecturing, I'll be lecturing about the chelation, I'll be lecturing there about longevity in particular, showing how we can extend your life and get rid of your free radicals that cause late, uh, aging. So it's a very exciting uh, concept and we'll show you, give you examples of how uh, animals are extend their life by two and a half times. Uh, so this is pretty uh, exciting. Thank you, Dr. Bonley. Uh, please uh, take the time to visit Dr. Gordon's website. Again, that's www.gordonresearch.com. Uh, also, you can find more information on Magnetico Sleep Pads at www.magneticosleeppads.com, or you can call them at 1-800-265-1119. Be sure to tell them that you joined our webinar to receive a 5% discount on your Magnetico Sleep Pad. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at info at longevityplus.com and I'll pass them on to Dr. Gordon and Dr. Bonley. Thank you, everybody.